little update to my CRX. Um, I haven't been able to get around to doing the firmware yet. I'm going to go into Marlin um, and try and sort something out on there because um, TH3D is unsure of when he's going to be released as yet. Um, running Cura 4.1 Beta. There's a profile in there set up already for the C uh, Creality CRX, which assigns the extruders for you. Um, I suggest you go in and edit the um, G code, start G code, and end G code for the extruders should you be moving the prime tower. Otherwise, it'll always go back to the back left corner after a retraction, and then it'll eject the filament, reload the filament, and then move back to the prime tower, which obviously takes more movement. Retraction, I'm in at 3 mil at the moment. You see the little wispy bit at the back corner, the little yellow bit sticking up, that's where it goes to the far back corner of the bed. Um, ejects the filament after a retraction and then swaps the filament. Oh, here we go, it's going to show you. It's unloading one. This is what you have to move. It's going to move to the back right corner of the bed, swap the filaments. Then it will move back to the prime tower. A little bit of ooze that will drop out from the bottom of the nozzle catches, if you watch. See that little drip? Catches. And that's what gives you the little blobs on the top. So you need to sort that out if you're moving the prime tower or unless you're going to have it in that back location. As you can see, the colour transition is pretty clear. Um, I think that was a 85 mm uh, diameter uh, prime tower. Let me double check. I don't think I got that right. Nope was a prime tower size of 25 mm with minimum prime tower volume of 85 I'll scroll through my settings so you can see what I've got might be of help to somebody print jerk and acceleration um, dropped down to 8 they were at 20 it's far too high uh, travel acceleration was 5000 I believe which is <laughs> far too high yet again Hopefully I'm doing this slow enough so you can see what's what. And that's on extruder 1 and extruder 2. This is where it's doing this, it's just done a retraction to swap the colours. So, looking at that, what I need to do is where that's just pulled off from there, there's a little bit of drip. So, what I need to do is move it to the prime tower before it does its retraction and does its swap over. That's what I'm going to do next. And get rid of that back corner thing where it moves to here before it goes back to the prime tower. I hope this helps somebody.